Uh, my name is Fad Bashir. I'm a sergeant within Police Scotland. Uh, I'm also an executive member within the Scottish Police Muslim Association. Tell, tell us a bit more about the Scottish Police Muslim Association. So the Scottish Police Muslim Association was formed a number of years ago uh, and the main intention at that time was to build bridges between Police Scotland and the diverse communities that we serve. Uh, Fahid, how long have you been in the force? So I've been with, with Police Scotland and initially it was Strathclyde Police for 12 years, coming up 13 years now. And obviously in your journey you must have seen a lot of new recruits coming in. Um, how do you feel about everyone, all the of the ethnic minority people and the Muslim community uh, boys and girls uh, joining the police? I think it's very important. I think it's absolutely crucial because us as a policing organisation, as a public sector organisation, we need to be, um, we need to mirror the community that we serve. Uh, and I think it's only right that we have a number of people from diverse backgrounds representing the community within Police Scotland. So, I mean, is there another question for you? I mean. The police job, I mean, when, you, when you're obviously looking to join the police, um, your parents will probably say to you, I mean, obviously you must have probably heard that from your parents as well. So what would you say to the parents out there about their children joining the police? I would tell them to let them join the police. It's a fantastic organisation to work for. Um, the, the way you can develop yourself within this organisation um, is endless number of departments, career progression, uh, and overall it's a very rewarding job and it kind of fits in with our Islamic kind of principles in terms of looking after the vulnerable and looking after the community as well. So I would recommend it very highly. You know, um, the other thing that people say is oh, you don't get the opportunities to move up the ladder, but today here I've spoken to the Chief Superintendent, if I'm not wrong, uh, Farouk Hussain. Yeah. Um, also spoke to um, Shane Barber as well. Uh -huh. Yourself, you said you're a sergeant. Yeah. So how was it for yourself um, progressing um, up the ladder? Progression is never easy. You're, you're competing essentially with a number of people that are skilled, have experience. Um, but I think it allows you the opportunity to develop yourself professionally and personally and you can bring that to the forefront of when you're applying for promotion or lateral development as well. So again, not an easy process, it's a very challenging process, but ultimately Police Scotland, Police Scotland wants to see the right people uh, progressing and right leaders uh, for the future within Police Scotland. So it's like anything else, the more hard work you put into it, the more progression you will get? Absolutely correct, yeah. Um, you need to invest your time and effort into this organisation, into this role, because ultimately, if you want to be a leader, then you need to have that commitment for it as well. Um, and now talking about today's event, which was about building bridges, how do you think this event went? Was it successful for you? I would say it's been overwhelmingly successful. We've spoken to a number of uh, guests that have attended. You know, our intention was to bring Police Scotland and the communities closer to have the active dialogues active discussions and the productive kind of dialogues as well and I really think that's happened so I think it's been an overwhelming success and I'm really happy with the way it's uh, um, panned out today. Thank you very much uh, Sergeant Fahad Bashir and also the executive member of Scottish Police Muslim Association. I got it right this time. Thank you very much and congratulations on a fantastic event today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. No problem. Thank you.